Hi, I'm Amy Moran, Head of Science, and I thought I'd talk to you quickly just about some frequently asked questions about GCSE Sciences at Great Call. As I'm sure you're aware, science is a compulsory subject, so alongside English and Maths is not part of the options process. At Great Call, we have two courses, separate and combined. I've summarised the differences between them on the slide with this link on, but there's a couple of things I wanted to point out. In separate sciences, students are awarded with three GCSEs, one in each specialism, so a GCSE in biology, GCSE in chemistry and a GCSE in physics. In combined sciences, students are awarded two GCSEs with all three specialisms contributing to that overall grade. All students, regardless of course, will have a double of biology, a double lesson of chemistry and a double of physics per week. Therefore, if you do the maths, our separate science students have 50% more content, but no extra time and lesson to cover this. Historically speaking, our top set students have been the ones to sit the separate exams due to this increase in content. Students can still access science A-level courses regardless of the GCSEs that they sit. So, for example, our grey core 2022 cohort need to achieve a 666 in separate sciences, so a 6 in biology, 6 in chemistry, 6 in physics, along with a 6 in maths in order to access the A-level biology course here at Grey Court. A combined student needs to achieve a 76 and a 6 in maths to get on the course, but both are more than welcome. Now the decision on which course each student is entered for is made by the science department and not the student or family. We take into account a variety of factors, including but not limited to how students have progressed during Key Stage 3 and in particular Year 9, where we'll be starting an introduction to GCSE module in the summer term. Students will be sat or set and streamed and combined and separate for the beginning of Year 10. We are aware that during the two year course, things can change and students do move between courses and there are opportunities for this. Although it is important to note that generally we do get it right first time round. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to get in contact, but please also be aware that I will not be able to answer questions about individual students until the end of the year when we've collated all the data and the evidence. We always just say to our students to try their best and the rest will follow. Thank you and best of luck with choosing your options.